Joe's vlog day 72 um, 3.1 miles this morning in about 31 minutes it was pretty tough it's cold that I got from my wife and my daughter it's terrible like, I can't shake it um, like halfway through I had this big blob of junk in my throat it was gagging me uh, I'm not gonna say I was what slowed me down but I had this big glob of crap that was in the back of my throat. Like, that doesn't make you faster. Uh, tomorrow is the start of uh, my next week of Couch to 5K. Um, it's like a three minute run, and then a five minute run, and then a three minute run, and then a five minute run. And like a minute and a half break in between. So, hopefully that goes well. And keeping up with it that's all um, so I started yesterday the like final final push for Barber Beast and our fundraising because we've made a grand total of 335 bucks and I ain't gonna cut my beard so um, uh, over the next few days I'll go live on Facebook and I'll put the kids in some pretty weird positions. Like, last night we offered to sing someone happy birthday. If you donated $20, we'll sing you happy birthday. And we'll do like crazy stuff like that. But, um, I don't want to insult my friends because they're all nice people. But, um, I need like more interesting friends who are like, wow, that's really funny. I can't believe you did that. I donated $20 to that, you know? Like, I don't know. I think I just need more spice in my life. More variety. Um, something to get up for, look forward to in the morning. Get excited about. You know, I know everybody's busy, but shit. I'm busy too. You know, are we too busy for each other? Have we, have we gotten ourselves to a point where we're all too busy for one another? Maybe. But um, for the next for the next like eight weeks, I'm gonna do cool things where like I get the kids to sing happy birthday, and I offer to have Brayden draw you draw a portrait of somebody, which is gonna be terrible, but he's four, so it should be fun to watch. And uh, I don't know, I have some ideas we're gonna work on, but um, you just have to get people to bite on them, you know? Because you can't stand out in front of Walmart. Like, I never understood how that works. Like, these kids, they stand out in front of Walmart and do you want to donate to my cheerleading squad? They don't care. They just want to be done. They just want to go home. And like, people just throw a dollar in there. And like, these kids don't want to hustle at all. I think that's part of the problem with this, like, country in general is there is no value to hustle. I don't know. Anyhow, that's that's all I got for today. So, um, yeah, we'll see you in the morning.